We're going to move on now to our GMA cover story. Lego is now the latest company to vow that it will remove gender bias from its toys. As research shows, the stereotypes can have negative effects on young children. Janae Norman back with the details. Hey, Janae. Hey, guys. Good morning again. Lego launching a new campaign called Ready for Girls after research showing that girls are encouraged to play with all types of toys and to do physical activities, STEM activities, things more commonly associated with boys. But boys aren't being encouraged in the same way. Lego now championing inclusive play by making their toys gender inclusive. This morning, Lego is letting go of gender stereotypes, working to make the famous toy pegs more inclusive by getting rid of gender references. A study commissioned by the company found kids hold stereotypical gender-associated attitudes around toys and play, with 4 in 10 girls and nearly 3 in 4 boys reporting it makes them uncomfortable to play with opposite gender toys. The survey also finding parents four times more likely to encourage girls to engage in dress up than boys and twice as likely to encourage boys to do coding than girls. Noting most boys and girls agree with the idea that some activities are gender specific. Those attitudes leaving a lasting impact. What we found is not only from the parents but also from the boys um, that they were worried that they would be teased or made fun of for playing with toys that would be, say, associated with girls. What we found with girls, they felt more confident than boys to engage in a variety of playing activities. Lego following in the footsteps of other companies like Hasbro, which rebranded the iconic Mr. Potato Head earlier this year, introducing a gender neutral potato head option with diverse body parts and clothes. And Mattel in 2019 releasing the first gender neutral doll. This all coming on the heels of Target's 2015 announcement that stores would de gender toy aisles, a move that paved the way for legislation signed into law in California over the weekend, requiring large retailers to provide gender neutral toy sections. This isn't a one size fits all solution for every family and parents should encourage what their kids love and what they're interested in. We want the world to be open to our children. We don't want them to feel limited by their gender. Toy companies are responding to this growing demand. And Lego says the company is putting more effort to ensure that they erase the bias that parents have toward the Lego brand, like thinking it's for boys, while paving the way to ensure that biases are removed across the toy industry. Guys. Makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Janae. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.